Today on Sporty News, Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire guest star on Sesame Street. Maradona inspires a fan. Serena Williams and the rapper Drake. Inter Milan and Donatella Versace. And the latest video game news. With the NBA lockout in full swing, Trey Sports decided to show you basketball champions as you've never seen them before. This week, we bring you two New York Knicks stars. Carmelo Anthony and Amari Stoudemire are huge fans of Sesame Street and its puppets. In April, they were invited to guest star on an episode and meet Grover and his buddies in real life. It was a magical moment for Carmelo and Amare. I had an unbelievable day, man. Um, yeah. For my yeah. son, it, it, it was a great day, a dream come true. It uh, really was. Me. It I really was. It was a fun. great day, huh? I think I had more fun than my son did up here today, man. Just, just uh, we had the best time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I showed these guys a, a, a trick or two. You know, I grew up watching it. Um, my kids are watching it. You know, sort of really hanging out with, with Grover here. Uh, Sesame Street, you know, it's just definitely uh, a lot of fun. These basketball stars are still children at heart. It's been almost 15 years since Diego Maradona retired from soccer, but he's still a big star in the sport. For this Argentine fan, naming his twin daughters Mara and Dona was a no-brainer. The proud papa made his dream come true by paying tribute to his idol. The fan says he owes everything to Maradona, especially the joy he felt when his country defeated England in the World Cup quarterfinal in 1986. He was only four at the time, but he remembers that El Pibe de Oro scored the two winning goals, including the infamous Hand of God. Two goals by Maradona, two daughters, and one World Cup. The parallel is striking. Has Serena Williams swapped Common for Drake? That at least is the rumor going around tabloids in the U.S. The American athlete and Canadian rapper seemed like the perfect couple. Drake turned out to support Serena at a tournament in Toronto, and it's a good thing he did because the youngest Williams sister took home the trophy. So cute, there's just one catch. Serena and Drake aren't an item. The press got all worked up for nothing. The two are just friends. The tennis player had to set the record straight at a press conference. Their relationship is platonic. But these days, friendship between a tennis star and a rapper seems hard to fathom. Inter Milan is now sporting Versace. No, the Italian label is not launching a line of soccer jerseys, but it will dress the team and staff for all formal occasions. Dolce Gabbana has a similar deal with Inter's rival, AC Milan. Milan's two clubs will now duel it out on the soccer fields and at high fashion social events. The first round goes to AC Milan. The national champions beat Inter Milan 2-1 at the Italian Super Cup in Beijing in early August. But a trip to the Versace boutique in China's capital lifted the players' spirits. Fashion designer Donatella Versace was there to greet them. Samuel Eto and his former teammates looked dapper in their new suits. Elegance, Italian style. Supremacy MMA is a ruthless new fighting game. And the good news is that women get to share the spotlight thanks to the inclusion of female champions Felice Herrig and Michelle Gutierrez. They gave us an exclusive look into the game. So Michelle, what is life like as a female MMA fighter? Well, it's a pretty cool, exciting life. It start, started off a little bit slow, but now all these doors are opening for us. We're doing other things um, ju than just fighting. It, it goes so much farther than just fighting. It's not oh, yeah. just being at the gym every day. Supremacy MMA and other things like that are kind of opening more doors for us so that we yeah. do get, yeah, are gonna be able to get that exposure yeah. eventually. Does Supremacy MMA live up to the spirit of actual MMA? I feel like there's a lot of elements that represent the sport, you know, but then there's also other elements that are so unrealistic that are mainly for entertainment purposes. But I do like that, you know, there's the, the stories like behind every fighter. Every fighter has a backstory, just like real life. Real life.